Dr. Octopus may find himself on Peter Parker's side in Spider-Man No Way Home, despite his reputation as one of the Wallcrawler's greatest antagonists. Despite the fact that he is popularly assumed to be one of the film's key adversaries, the character may have a different role in the next MCU Phase 4 film. It's been established that he'll face up against Tom Holland's Spider-Man in the film, as seen in the much-discussed brilliant battle in both trailers, but that doesn't rule out the possibility of the two being buddies by the conclusion. Doc Ock's reappearance will be one of the results of a botched spell cast by Doctor Strange, according to the first teaser for Peter's third solo excursion in the MCU. Visitors from different worlds are now converging on Tom Holland's character, as Strange stated in the second teaser. In No Way Home, villains from Sony's other two Spider-Man movies will make an appearance. So far it appears like he'll be up against Doc Ock, Green Goblin, The Lizard, Sandman, and Electro, with Harry Osborn's new Goblin perhaps making an appearance as well. The villains are revealed in greater detail in the trailer, particularly Doc Ock, who may play a larger role in Spider-Man No Way Home than the others. The second trailer included interactions between Otto and Peter's high school buddies, as well as Doc Ock mistaking Tom Holland's Spider-Man for his own universe's hero played by Tobey Maguire, and it looks that he was caught at one point. Other photos appear to depict Doc Ock battling fellow Spider-Man villain Elektra. Given the circumstances, it's possible that Melina's Dr. Octopus will team up with Spider-Man to fight the other four villains. Doc Ock's personality appears to be similar to that of his character in Spider-Man 2, with the exception that he has rekindled his rivalry with Peter Parker. Many have interpreted the red and gold on his new mechanical arms as an Iron Man reference, although the character's significance has yet to be disclosed. It's feasible that the Stark tech that went into making Spider Costume Man's might find its way into Doc Ock's tentacles. The process that Dr. Octopus went through to wear the mechanical arms in Spider-Man 2 is crucial to understanding him. The tentacles in the film are so sophisticated that they can think for themselves, directed by artificial intelligence. Knowing there was a chance they would take complete control of his mind, Melina's Dr. Octopus implanted an inhibitor chip to prevent this. It essentially prevented his arms from reaching his higher brain function. Later without Doc Ock's knowledge an accident destroyed the inhibitor chip, irreversibly fusing it to his spine. The inhibitor chip might make a reappearance in No Way Home. It's been suggested that Peter Parker will fix it for him, freeing his brain from the tentacle's grip. Nothing in Spider-Man 2 can explain how they'd achieve it, but technology from the Marvel Cinematic Universe might help. Doc Ock will allegedly take Tony Stark's technology and use it to enhance his tentacles, according to popular belief. Although the shape of the arms in No Way Home definitely suggests an Iron Man connection, that isn't the only explanation for what's going on. Spider-Man might also utilize Stark's technology to rescue Doc Ock. It's worth noting that in No Way Home, Spider-Man may still have access to some of Stark's innovations. After all, he's dressed in the same nanotech suit he was given by Tony Stark in Avengers Infinity War. There might be something in the suit capable of reactivating the inhibitor chip. If one of Spider-Man's tentacles can pierce Doc Ock's, Iron Man's nanotechnology may be able to enter his body and correct the problem. Even if Spider-Man doesn't do it on purpose, it might happen during their battle. Others have suggested that what's truly going on in this image is Doc Ock ripping off Stark's nanotechnology. Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 2 isn't quite as cruel and nasty as his Marvel Comics counterpart, so having his wits restored should be enough to put a stop to whatever battle he has with Tom Holland's Spider-Man in No Way Home. Doc Ock's remark about Peter fighting ghosts indicates that he's starting to realize what's going on in the movie. He may decide to embark on a road of atonement once he realizes the multiverse is in jeopardy. If that's the case, he may be a valuable ally in Spider-Man and Doctor Strange's struggle against the Lizard, Sandman, Electro, Green Goblin, and any other multiverse villains. Doctor Octopus playing a heroic role in Spider-Man No Way Home seems like a logical conclusion to his character's journey, based on his decisions in Spider-Man 2 and his last-minute resolve to do the right thing.